Welcome to another Trailblazer episode. I am about to hit 99 woodcutting and by the way, sorry about my voice. I am not usually this uh, dark in my voice. But I just woke up and uh, thought I would hit 99 woodcutting as the first thing I do in the morning. So uh, we are going to then go over to the bank and have a look at how many mahogany logs we have. 250 points for 99 woodcutting. If I have 5.7k mahogany logs, then we have enough for 99 construction, so let's have a look at it. But before that, I just want to say I do have a Discord if you want to join that. Link to that is always at the top of the description. Let's start the video. Just barely under what I need. 5.2k, that is close enough. I can get back to mahogany's in the future and just get those last 500 whenever I get close to it. I do have a one point almost 2k oak planks from my kraken farm though, so I might actually use those and then that should be enough. I actually managed to complete an entire hard clue from scratch, so that was pretty lucky, so let's open it and see what we get. That is 5 unique items from hard clues. I wonder what that would be because... Uh, is it just five different ones or is it five in the collection log? It has to be five different ones because I don't think any of these except the fire lighters are in the collection log But uh, 50 points. I don't say uh, no to that So I had some magic seeds that I collected from killing kraken and if I dig this up here I should get some magic roots and that is a task for 100 points There we go 100 points for digging up a magic root and I am currently 84 farming and I have two more trees that I can pick up So I'm probably going to end at 85 I'm not sure how many day old essences I'm going to have to use to get to 99 runecrafting, but I AFK'd pretty much 20,000, so that's going to be what I'm going to start off with. I just wanted to do something AFK, and I'll get to runecrafting pretty soon. And with the last recall relic, it is so fast experience. It's probably up to like 1 or 2, even maybe like 1.5 million experience an hour. We will have to try that out, but uh, let's convert all these shards. 20k so we now have a lot of essences to use i mean i might as well start using the essences i guess uh, i made 100 dueling rings or 99 i guess but i have one equipped as well and i'm going to set up a counter for rune crafting and let's see how much experience we can get i'm uh, at i think 62 rune crafting right now let's have a look 62 rune crafting so let's get uh, started with using all these essences. I just got done with using all the essences, or pretty much all of them. I only have 8 left. And my current runecraft level, by the way, I started at 62. And I gained from that almost 20,000 essence, 7 million runecrafting experience. So I'm 93 now, and I only need 23 more total levels to be 2.1k. But uh, I'm going to take a break from my runecrafting right now and finish off that 99 in the near future. Pretty much just got here and I got a Kraken Tentacle. I do need to get two more to be able to finish that master challenge of making my Trident Enhanced. I did, if you can look at the experience on the top right, I did actually cut some Mahogany. So I have enough now for 99, but I need to get some money. So I'm going to do some Kraken and maybe I can get both money and the last Kraken Tentacles to make the planks. Exactly what I wanted. Kraken Tentacle very short after again. Only one more to go already. There we go. That's the final Kraken Tentacle on KC 962. So uh, just short of a 1000 KC. Let's get that 500 point task done. Handed all the 10 Kraken tentacles to leave McCracken. Now I, if I just give her the trident, she's going to enchant it. There we go, and that is 500 points. I can now keep 20,000 charges in this, I think. So now that I have that done, my current cash deck is 4 million. I do have these to Alk as well, so that is a total of 4 million plus how much... 100k plus 368k so you could say like 500k so 4.5 mil i need to get to around 8 million to be able to get 99 construction with all the logs that i have and for that i'm going to get back to my trusted gargoyles i'm going to also get hard clues from the superiors that i get and that is going to be even more alkibles from those if i complete them and more tasks to be done 
So let's get into the grind. Actually, before that, I completely forgot I got so many earth orbs from the Sire, and I also got 160 battle staves just from the Kraken grind. So I can make 160 battle staves, which is like 1.4 million in Ox. First completed hard clue of the grind. Let's hopefully get some nice alkyballs or uniques. That is two uniques. Is that any task done from that? And that is a lot of alkyballs in general. Another task completed, 50 points. Second hard clue. Let's see if we can get some more alkyballs in this one. That is... Eh, decent alkyballs, I guess. These clues are so easy to complete after the clue scroll update. Let's see what the third one is going to be. Oh, I, actually ancient dehyde bodies or boots, sorry, is really, really useful. I didn't really have any ranged boots at all before, so that is just actually a straight up upgrade. I'm going to put that into my gear tab for alkyballs, nothing special. Actually, the first time I've had an internal gem, there's really not any use for it. I'm not really craving a slayer ring, but uh, it is a red drop nonetheless. Okay, uh, second imbued heart, but this one is a bit more useful because look at the high alk value. That's 300k and uh, I actually really need money, so I'm going to uh, actually alk this imbued heart. Another hard clue, I'm at 7.7 .7 mil cash pile and that is going to definitely help, a lot of alks this one. Over 8 million cash pile now, so getting pretty close, and even more alkyballs, but not amazing. I've been playing for 6 hours straight now I think, that's why I got the warning in the chat, but that is an armadillo coif and some decent alkyballs as well. Pretty nice. I went a bit over 8.5 million, which is all that I need for all the logs, I'm at 8.8 .8 million now. And I might actually need even a bit more than that, because I didn't think about the cost of the butler that I will have to use, the uh, demon butler. It takes like 10k cash now and then, I think, when you use it. And I definitely need to have one when doing the construction grind. But I'm going to start off by making all the mahogany logs into planks. And uh, then we will see if I have to go and get more money for the butler or not. I'm not sure if this is the best and closest way to do it to a bank, but uh, I'm of course going to use my last recall relic, just buy planks, mahogany, teleport back with the royal seed pot, pod and go and bank on top here. Of course it would be faster with a dueling ring, but I only have like 15 left and I do want to save those for runecrafting. So uh, I'm going to do it this way and it should be fine. So it did take a while but not too bad to make all the planks and I still have 244k. I'm probably going to have to get a bit more money but uh, I have all the planks now for 99 construction. So let's go hire a butler and get 99 construction. Going to get some points for both base 60 after this table and also then when I get to 70 I'll get base 70s. So after that I have to get my prayer, my herb lore and agility up for base 80s. But uh, that is going to be 60 construction and 100 points for base 60. Basically like 5 minutes after getting level 60, this is level 70. It's insanely fast for another 100 points. I think 250 points now for 2100 total. Let's see if it is 250. Yep, 250. By the way, if you're wondering, my current total points is 30,370. So I actually ran out of money now and I'm at level 95, almost 96 construction, but I'm just going to get some more money. I probably need like 100k total probably to get 99, maybe a bit less even. Because I don't have weapon specialist as a perk, I might as well just show them what I have. I have the draining strikes. I don't actually need the staff of the dead for anything. It was just nice to get them for the points. But I do need 200,000 gold to make a achievement gallery to be able to make the boss display for 250 more points. And this Staff of the Dead is, as you can see in the chat, 600k alk. And I don't really have anything else that I really don't need for the account. So I'm just going to alk it for the money. And now I have enough to get 99 construction and the display room. 200,000 coins to make the achievement gallery. I guess I just build it. I don't really care. And that is 100 points. Oh, I didn't even know there was an achievement for that. And build the boss display for 23,000 experience. And then I just put this in here, I guess. And that is the Kraken display for 250 more points. I almost had it perfectly with the mahogany planks, I had like 35,000 experience when I ran out. I only had to do like one or two inventories of oak planks. So uh, here we go, this is going to be 99 construction done for 250 more points and I'm now at 2120 total level. 
Something I've actually forgot to do in general is Tears of Gothics and this time around doing it, the first time I did it I got a very small amount of experience because I got it in a skill that was like level 20 or something, but this time around I do want to force get it in herb lore because every other skill is pretty easy to get to 99, it's just grinding. And of course I screw those up, but uh, herb lore is a bit more annoying because I have to actually get the herbs and all that. The secondaries is kind of easy because I have botanist, but uh, I want to get that to uh, to work in the tiers of gothics with uh, herb lore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get AD agility and then I'll do tiers of gothics for the herb lore experience. Because if you don't know how it works, it always gives you experience in the lowest current skill. Finished up AD Agility on the Hallowed Sepulchre and what I'm going to be doing now because I also need to get my prayer above 79 is I'm going to do some pest control for it and do some fletching meanwhile, broad fletching and if I get 1.6 million woodcutting experience on maple trees I can make enough arrow shafts to get 99 fletching with broad arrows. So I will be doing that for some prayer experience. It's actually pretty good experience around I would say like 20k per win, maybe a bit less than that. So that should be fine to get over 80 prayer and also get a lot of fletching experience at the same time. So the first session of pest control will be just to put the feathers on all the arrow shafts. So let's see how many points I can get just from doing that. That is all the headless arrows done and I am now at a 1 million cash tag and that is relevant because I have to get to 3.3 million to be able to buy all the broad arrowheads that I need. So I'm going to go back to gargoyles and by the way I got 1 million fletching experience for just the arrowhead. So yeah, let's get into the money grind. Is that the second imbued heart in one video? That is actually a really good drop because 300k alk is not bad at all. Look at that imbued heart alk right there. I think 59,200 should be enough, so I have now headless arrows, all of these. I had some broad arrowheads in the bank, so yeah, for sure this is going to be enough for 99 fletching, banging that out, meanwhile doing some more pest control. By the way, I'm not sure if I remember to tell you guys, but I did make around 500 pest control points, meanwhile just doing the headless arrows. So if I complete all of these, I should be at around 1,000 points. Which is like 2.4 million prayer experience. So that is pretty insane. That's going to be quite some gains that I'm going to get just from doing pest control while also getting 99 fletching. When this portal goes down, I am going to finish up my last game for 5 more points and I have a total of 852 points. Because if I do this now, this is going to be 99 fletching done for 250 points and another... 99 down and I'm going to head over to the vendor and spend all those 852 points on prayer experience and let's see how much we get. Starting off with a counter of zero and I'm going to spend 100 points to get 253,000 prayer experience and we just keep doing this with all the points that I have. This is insane prayer experience. Imagine if I had unlimited points this would be like 100 million experience an hour probably even more than that to be honest. So uh, we're going to get, how much is this going, wait, I'm actually going to get like 2 million prayer experience. I'm almost at 80 already, which was the goal. I get even more experience every single time. 316,000 prayer experience because it's scaling off level. 198 experience base, 350,000 experience. This might be actually pretty viable for 99 prayer. 348,000 again, 83 prayer, and I now, it seems like it's locked out at 198. Maybe it uh, jumps up a bit later, but I don't think so. But 84 prayer, that is insane. I'm almost uh, getting close to 2.2k total, but let's do what I wanted to do for a long time ago, tiers of gothics. Don't have that many quest points, so I only got 69 tiers. I probably could have got like 72 or something, but let's see how much experience this is going to be. 66,000 herbal experience and that is also 80 base. It's not the most impressive experience, but it is nice to get that in herbal at least. But that is going to do it for this video. If you're wondering, my current points is just below 32,000. Haven't really been focusing on points that much, but whenever I do get max anyways, I'm going to get a lot of points on the way there, as I've said in my previous videos. My total level is now 2,159, so we're getting close to that max cape, and uh, I have some really ni easy 99s that I can get some good points for, like 99 fire making and 99 ranged. 99 rune crafting is probably pretty easy as well, so I'm probably going to get all those three plus some other stuff in the next video but i hope you did enjoy it if you did please leave a like subscribe if you want to see my future content 
and have a good one guys take care